Hello everyone, this is Elaine from Elaine Realized, and today is my health update for Health and More in 24, and okay, I'm just going to get through this. Last Monday, last Monday night into Tuesday, overnight, my nephew on my husband's side passed away from a seizure in his sleep. And I don't really have too much to report today. Um, we'll get into the, the savings binder here in a little bit. But I can tell you, and I will insert the screenshot, that um, I gained five pounds uh, in the last two weeks. A lot of that's probably water because I ate carbs and I have not eaten carbohydrates in a year. Um, I had pizza a couple times. I had cheesecake. I had tiramisu. I had Reese's peanut butter cups and I had gummy worms. My husband went to the store and spent about a hundred bucks on junk food for the two of us. He got lots of potato chips and uh, the little cheddar crackers with peanut butter in them. And he got Reese's peanut butter cups too. He just got a different kind of Reese's peanut butter cups. He likes the little ones that are like half chocolate, half peanut butter. And I like more peanut butter and less chocolate. I don't know what else he got. Anyway, the junk food's all gone. And we did a little bit of retail therapy, which I mentioned in my video yesterday. And apparently I scared some people by saying that. Uh, we did not buy anything with money we needed for our bills. We did not incur any debt. We used money that we set aside for something else. But we can take it, the money out that we spent, that was money that would have been budgeted to be spent over the next few months. We can take that money out a little bit every month and put the money back where it belongs. Um, my husband wanted a new floor mat for his office and his old one was ratty and gross. And um, it was an outdoor carpet, indoor outdoor carpet. And uh, it was, the cats have shredded it and uh, he wanted a new mat. So we got him a really nice new mat that's, um, the cats won't be able to shred. <laughs> and it is no longer an indoor outdoor carpet. And it was larger and it cost a little bit of money. And I got a new camera because I'm tired of fighting with my camera and um, text. Because it just, it doesn't something about the camera I don't know if it's just the camera in my phone or what it just it just doesn't do well so I got a document camera um, which is something I could have saved up to buy um, and we have categories in which to buy that stuff but we bought it now and I bought a couple of um, a couple of things for giveaways that are coming up that I could have bought next month or the month after that because they're for upcoming giveaways um, but I did it now and that's okay it just means there'll be less money to buy giveaways which is okay because I've already bought the things and that money will go back to where it was supposed to be so we would not ever spend money that was meant for bills or spend money like this and go into debt mostly because we were married previously to spouses that absolutely would have done that and caused us massive stress. <laughs> so we're, we're very conscious about our debt and the debt that we've gotten into and the reasons for it. And they were all well thought out purchases, I guess. 
you could say. I mean, a lot of it is my husband's student loans and I and the house. The house and the student loans are the bulk of the of the debt and they are almost half and half. So I just I'm sorry. I scared people. I don't realize that my version of retail therapy is probably a lot different than another person's version of retail therapy. So there you have it. And yes, I understand this is health and war in 24, but I think mental health is important to talk about too. And sometimes you have to give yourself permission to do something like this. Now, I would never say, hey, you know, go rack up some credit card debt or you know, who, who needs to pay your rent? No, you need to pay your rent. You don't need to rack up debt. But if you have categories in which you have money that you aren't going to need that money for a few months and you buy things that you would have bought next month or the month after now and you're disciplined enough to know that you can absolutely take that money from those categories that you spent it in and put it back into the category you took the money from, I don't really see anything wrong with that. It's not something I would do on a regular basis. This was an extenuating circumstance that was out of the blue and we're just trying to get through it and we're human. And so I want to be transparent about that anyway. Um, so I gained five pounds. I didn't track anything. I wasn't in the mental place to do any of those things. And, uh, now it's, it's been 10 days and it's time to, you know, get back to living life and getting things done that need to get done. So that's where we're at. And I just, I'm going to work on my, my health binder here next. And so I will join you at my desk. Okay, everyone, we are over at the desk and I feel like I have, I don't even remember what I'm doing in here. It took me a minute to get everything organized and I had to redo some math because I missed some weeks and yeah. Anyway, so I believe we have $240 to work with and we will go ahead and count that really quick. Every time there's a paper clip in here. All right, so this goes to health, medical, and dental. And um, because of the retail therapy, uh, there will be a little extra going in here over the next three months for my testing in August. So. I think I was using this as a dashboard. We were doing this. I left myself instructions. Butterflies are five and I'm rolling a D10. And this is April's uh, digital download for all things Kimberly, West Virginia for her um, membership and group play stuff. And I'm a member of her channel, so I got it for free, but you can purchase this on her shop and it will be linked down below. And, um, because I'm a monarch, I already have two savings challenges to do. So I thought I would use the digital downloads to do the health stuff. So she changed it up for me. I'm excited. All right. So I need a D10. D10. This would be the D10. And yay, eight. Um, purple. Now I'm behind, so the eight here. I'm using a different marker set because why not? And 
We were supposed to have this one done this month, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and roll one more. And 10. Ooh, 18. Okay. And the butterflies are five. Let's go ahead and color in a couple of these. I didn't want to do a huge chunk of money for the last couple of weeks since I didn't do this last week. So I figured I would um, just kind of let things roll over a little bit and that's fine because this is actually for June and August and July, June, August and July that we're playing for. So we've got plenty of time to get through May. So that's 10, 28. Oh, 10, 28. One, two, three. We'll see if we can do any condensing in here. Sorry for the noise. Hope you can't hear the sirens, they are loud. What we had in here already was 14. So it looks like we can do this and grab another 20. I didn't even pull any twos. All right, five and 10, and we'll pull this other 20. And we should have a total of $40, if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't sound right. Did I leave something in here accidentally? No. Nope. 20, 40, 1, and 2. That sounds more like it. So last week, well, not last week, two weeks ago, was 9 plus 5 was 14 is what we had in there and then 14 and 28 is yep 42 okay so that was correct all right and then we have april's texas hold'em because kimberly thought it was going to be a great idea to do texas hold'em and it probably was a great idea but april just <laughs> didn't work for a lot of us there's so much going on in April, and I'm not going to tell other people's stories, so um, I just have to go watch their videos. I've been trying to keep up and put it all in a playlist, but I know I'm missing a couple of them. I need to go back and do that. Let's see. I did green. How did I do green? I don't know. Won't be the same color green, but that is okay. We are going to go ahead and finish this one off. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is just fine. Oops. I still want to learn the Texas Hold'em, so I will. I don't think I will ever make a video of myself doing it, though. I have two left feet. All right. Oh. This. There's a hint of a way to do this is interesting. Anyway, um, hope everybody else has been having a better, better time than we all have the last couple of weeks. That was really bad. That's okay. Um, so there should be a total of five, nine, 10, 11 in here. Oh, I made them $4 a piece. Oh, well, okay. Well, we're still going to do it. So there was 16 in here. <laughs> That's 28. All right. So 10, 20, 5, 27, and 28. We are definitely going to have to do some condensing on this. Uh, 
Yep. All right. So that should be four times nine is 36. 40, 44. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 42, 43, 44. And we'll put these two back and grab this other two. We will put this aside so we can make change if we need to. And we have this other one ready to go. I don't know why I thought those were a dollar, but I did. That's okay. Just means we're going to get through this faster than I thought. No big deal. Let's see. Uh, and then this one, which I love, is D20, D12, D10, D8, and D6. So that's basically everything but the D4. So here we go. And we have 7, 14, there's 20, 23, and 5 is 8. So the $28. And I know it's kind of hard to see those. But another $28. That seems to be a recurring theme right now. I think I did teal on this one. This is not going to match, but that's okay. 28 on this one. Oh, it came really close though. So is it more of a green teal than a blue teal, but. All right, so 35, we need to add 28, 10, 20, five, six, seven, and eight. I am not going to count this again. Slide that right back in there. This one is by Simply Living Saves, who's another member of the collab. I'm trying to collect stuff from people in the collab. So we've got All Things Kimberly, who started the collab. Um, budgeting April. And then... Simply Living Saves. I need to make make something for this. I know uh, Kimberly made, oh, where are they? I printed them out. Where did I put them? Oh, I know where they are. They're in here already. Kimberly made some for May um, for, well, it doesn't have to be for May. You could start it now for tracking steps, which I like better than tracking miles or kilometers because I track all my stuff in steps. I have to convert it from steps anyway. All right. So then there's mine and I need to make one that's health related. So I think I will work on that over the next couple weeks. And I think I just rolled a D20 for this, given the fact that it's a 14. So we will roll D20. We got... 14 again, which is what we got last time. And we'll throw that in there. Well, that's a nice springy green. I like this green. All right. Well, we'll definitely be able to condense this a little bit. 14 and 14 is 28. See, it's another 28. Apparently, I should be going to play something. With the number 28 in it today. I don't know. Three. So we've got 20 and five. I'm gonna put this one back. And we've got our 28. And these you can get on my um, Kofi shop. Um, all my freebies will be going on my Kofi shop. And let's see, this is walk and save, saving with Alicia. And um, we're not quite done with week four yet. So I can tell you that I need to probably add some money to this. And I'm going to have to pull it because I calculated it. But I don't know if I put the money in 
So all together, I should have 21 and 28 is 49, 59, 66, 50. To, oh, I did. I put the money in there. All right. So next week, um, we'll update on the rest of what happened this week. And then we will start this one, which is the one that All Things Kimberly did. And these are really cute. And right now they're a freebie I'm attached to her video from this week. But um, after this week, they'll be in her shop. So if you want to get these, go get them now. Um, I'm pretty sure I added her video to the playlist, but she'll be linked down below. Just go look for her Health and More 24 video from Sunday. And I believe they're attached to that. But there's a cute little dog with a leash. And um, a little Fitbit. <laughs> and um, some tennis shoes. And a walking. Or it's a treadmill. I don't know if it's a walking or a running treadmill. And then there's this one, which is a little gym bag. And these are really cute. And you can do each sneaker is worth however many. And um, steps. And for every day you meet your goal, you color in one and save an amount. And I think I will um, also have one if you don't make your amount for myself. I'll just add a little bit to this. But I think these are great and really cute. I know I need to make a tracker for my um, my bike. So that's mine are probably going to be for biking. Which I know won't be as popular as the walking ones. But all right. So, oh, I didn't even go over what I did. So, last week I walked, um, I did 1.13 miles on a walk, and I, no, I did 0.7 miles on a walk and 1.08 on a walk. And the week before that, um, this is the one I was supposed to update on this week. Eventually, I'm going to catch back up. My brain is not raining yet guys just bear with me um the week before i did two half mile walks and that was it all right then last time a couple weeks ago we weren't able to do this one because i did not have any um i didn't have any permanent markers and i totally forgot about my wet markers but now i have both And I think we're going to just do these in green. We'll use the wet markers because they won't flake off. So what are we going to roll? Let's roll 8 to 16. Let's roll a D20 and C14. So 4... 8, 12, 13, 14, that's 2. We're just going to color this in real quick. And we'll go again. We've got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's $5. And then we're going to go one more time. Oops. And we got another five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's two, so a total of seven dollars going into this one. I'll get this to dry off a little bit. These are wet erase markers. They're used um, for overhead projectors. Remember those from class? We were kids. Teachers would write on the on them and wipe it off with just water, and that's what these do. And they don't you don't have to scrub them off or anything else. You can just use water, and they don't flake off like the permanent markers do. And um, they shouldn't. I don't know if they'll stain this or not. They shouldn't though because they're intended to be erased. So, let's 
seven dollars going into that one this week and this is from budget your life i thought they were really cute and so since i like all things pretty i threw them in here and we have this one from tuatu or tuatu chris gilmore on etsy and i will link her her uh, store down below she does not have a youtube and i used yellow and it's mirrored bad and we're gonna see if this yellow is any better and we're just gonna roll a d6 and see how many we're gonna save maybe we should do a d4 let's do a d4 i'm just not in any kind of decision making anything right now so we'll see if this smears less oh it does oh i'm so happy not a very good coloring job i was excited to get to the five and see what would happen but that's wonderful I used to blend in colors. All right. So we need 10. Got the 10 right here. So now we should have 35 in here and we do. All right. That's where I'd love to spend all of my time is in the mountains. I love the snow and the mountains and the cold. All right, so, and then we have this one by Rocks Budgets, and I don't remember how we were doing this, but we're just going to keep this D4 out and roll it. All right, one, and we're, we left off here, and um, we're going to go one, so this is four. I'm going to keep with this little outlining maneuver because then I can use a different color, maybe, or the same colors. Color it in more. All right, three. One, two, three. So that's two. We're up to six. I think we'll stop there. Because I made some dashboards. Um, I actually bought a bunch of stuff from Rocks Bu Budgets Shop. And the physical stuff has not gotten here yet. And I hope it comes soon because I'm looking forward to using it. Let's see, we had 15, yep, we had $15 and we're adding six. So five and six. But um, I printed out a bunch of stuff. I'm waiting for her physical stuff to get here. I'm getting excited. It should be here any time now, I would think. I got this stuff from Sweden, and I ordered them pretty much on the same day. So I'm hoping it gets here soon. All right. And this one is by Hey K Budgets. It's her oolong. Last time I went a little crazy because I kept getting five, 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 and then I got a three, and there was one more three, and I was going to see if I could get that other three, but I didn't. I got a seven. The seven is where we left off. So we'll stick with this D4. And we got a one. Uh, so four. Looking for a similar color. This might work. Definitely a thinner, thinner tip, which I actually prefer, but trying to make it match is making it kind of ugly. All right, four. And then oh, we got a one again, and here's a six, and that's ten, and we're gonna stop there. 
on this one. So we've got 20, 30, 40 in this one now. So we're two thirds of the way done. And then we have this one from Marlene at Snow Gardener 307, which is my favorite one. It's so cute. And I don't remember what I rolled, if it was a D6 or a D10 or a D4 or what, but um, I think we're gonna stick with a D4 today because, because, because. All right, so we got a two. And I know I saw, that's, there's a lemony yellow in here. Helps if you take it out. We are just going to stick with two. It looks like we can turn this in and get a five back. So we have a total of six dollars in this one right now. And then from Liz and Les, this is a freebie on her blog. I just put $10 in last week and it was supposed to be played for April. Um, and I was playing the left side and I think I'm going to play both sides and just go through May. So um, today is the 25th and we're just going to do $5 for today. And I'm going to take this... Um, I'm going to take this marker here and I'm going to mark off the five on these two. And on the 25th, I'm going to mark off this five. We have 15 now. We'll just go ahead and finish out the month. And let's see, what else can we do? So we won't be doing this again for the rest of so two, four, six, eight, ten. If I do the right side, if I do the left side, it's three, six, seven, seven, and five is twelve. Let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do twelve. And I am going to swap out these two fives for this ten, because they're laying here. This is the money for Texas Hold'em. Ooh, just got a chill. Air conditioning is chilly. We just had it serviced a couple weeks ago. I always check the pressure and stuff and top it off if it needs to be. And it is a mighty chilly right now. Okay, so we did the left side. All right. So we did one three, six, oops, I totally did not count that right. Six, <laughs> 10, <laughs> 15. So there should be five, 10, 15, and then another 15 this direction for 30. So let's see how much we have. 10, 20, five, six, and seven. So we need to just grab another five. We've got another 10 down here, so we're going to trade that. All right, so we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 23, 27. Now, why am I getting this wrong again? That's 7 and 3 is 10 plus 5 is 15. I don't know what my brain is doing, but... It's $30, so we're going to put it away <laughs> because that's just bad. Okay, now I got all these ones out. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Definitely going to have to do some condensing here. All right, so next one up is the Shopping Smalls, which I think is so cute. 
saw Jenny playing it, went and grabbed it immediately. This is by Kingdom Planning. And uh, you start down here and you go up and you stop along the way and buy things that you're going to need to do your savings challenges from these little shops. So we left off where the last X is, which is here. And we're going to roll just a regular old D6. And we got three. So one, two, three. And I'm trying to remember who it is with the French Bulldogs. Oh my goodness. Golden Girl Budgets. That's right. It's Golden Girl Budgets. Roll a D6. If it's odd, save one dollar. If it's even, save two. So we're saving two dollars. That up here. This is just a really cute idea. All right. And then next, we're doing two, so one and two. And these, I believe, were just each a dollar, if I remember correctly. That's the way we're playing it today, anyway, because my. <laughs> it's not. One, two, and three. And this is Ren from Mischief Managed Budgets, I believe, is the name of her channel. And it's Mischief Budgets on Etsy. So that's the name of her shop. Okay. And pick an amount. So we're going to do five. And let's go one more time. Two. One and two. All right, and that's where we will leave off today. And we did five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars. Wonder why I circled that one. Who knows? I circled that one too. I guess I was circling last time. So we're adding nine dollars to this squirrel uh. all right and we have the tea party by Lisa grateful me And I don't remember what dice I was rolling or where we even left off. So we're just going to start again at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. So that's four. Oh, you guys can't really see the yellow, but I can. <laughs> and then one, which is seven. And that's 11, and we're going to stop there. 5, 10, 11, 12. In the tea party. That was a freebie on her channel a while back. I couldn't tell you what video it was but and i don't know if she has it in her shop or not because it was around the time that she um shut her shop down and got rid of everything and started over which i can understand that she gave this away as a freebie when her shop was shut down that's all i can tell you i don't remember ex exactly when it was but um it was a while back. And this one I bought from Amanda's Budgets. And I'm, I'm all the way, you can't even see what I'm doing. Um, on Etsy, she's Amanda's Budgets prints. And I love these winter themed ones that she's been doing. I did this one in yellow too. 
All right. So let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. This is $30, and I'm going to exchange this really quick. 